what is up you guys it is the mice 45 here and in this video I'm here to show you guys how to get the double tap to sleep feature of sign in Jamad on any Android device now if you don't know what this feature is basically it lets you double tap here at the top of your status bar twice to put your Android device to sleep which can be helpful for a lot of people who are using Android devices to have the power button located at the top and have really big Android smartphones like about four to five inches which can be hard to reach if you have small hands okay so before you do this you do need to make sure that your Android device is rooted and it's running Android 4.0 and above to yeah you have to make sure that you're rooted and you have to make sure that you're running at least Android 4.0 and above. If you don't know how to root your specific Android device, just go on Google and search how to root space the name of your Android device. Like for me, for example, I'm using my Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 here. Space the model number that your Android device is. If you want to find out what model number your Android device is, go into your settings then scroll down to about tablet or about phone and when they're number you see under the word model number that's your model number like for me for example my model number is GTP3110 and my Android version is 4.4.2 and uh, yeah so once you do that go ahead and search find a guide that can help you follow their guide very carefully because if you don't your Android device may be bricked in other words it may get damaged internally or externally if it does I'm not responsible for any of the damage that will happen to it and once you do that follow their guide and be careful with it and because rooting also does void your warranty so be careful with that and once you do that and you're rooted and you have super su or super user installed you can go ahead and start with the procedure now assuming that you don't have this app that we're going to use called exposed installer um, basically to get this app all you're going to need is a mobile browser that will let you download files you can use the one that's built into your android device or you can download one from the google play store like for me for example i'm using boat browser for tablets here and you're going to need a file manager that will let you install apk files now just like the browser you can use the browser that came you can use the file explorer that came with the android device or you can download one from the google play store like for me for example i'm using es file explorer then once you do that and you got those two covered make sure unknown sources is checked to do that for some android devices go into your settings and security and make sure unknown sources is checked. If it isn't, make sure it is. Now, depending on your Android, that, may, that option may be somewhere else for you. So make sure you check on Google to find out how to check unknown sources for your specific Android device. Then once you do that and you make sure it's checked, go ahead and tap the download link that I left in the video description below on your Android device. If you're watching this on your Android device, tap the download link that I left in the video description below open it in any mobile browser you're using and once you do that and you opened it up you should get a page that looks like this once you get to this page tap the download icon here that's colored green and you can go ahead and edit the settings for you can go ahead and edit the info about this download if you want to like you can change the name as long as you don't erase the APK thing here at the bottom and you can save it to wherever you want then you can tap download or tap save depending on your browser then once you do that and you finish downloading it go into any file manager that you're using then go to wherever you downloaded that file from before then tap the APK file then tap install wait for it to install then once it finishes installing tap open and during the first time that you open it you will need to update the framework to do that just tap framework here then tap install slash update then tap ok 
for it to reboot your Android device so it can finish up all the changes. Then once you're back up at your Android device, at your lock screen, go in and unlock it. Then go back into this app and then go to where it says download. Then scroll all the way down until you see double tap to sleep. Then swipe left to get to the download section of this tweak. Then download the latest version of this tweak. Like in my case, as of the date of this video, it's 1.0. Tap download and then you sh and then you should get a prompt that looked like the one that we got when we were installing this app. Just tap install, wait for it to finish installing, and once it finishes installing, tap done, then swipe, you know, right to get back to this section of the app, then tap where it says download at the top, then tap modules, then make sure that the tweak itself is checked. If it isn't, make sure it is. Then press and hold on the power button, tap reboot, and then reboot your Android device. And once you finish rebooting it and you're back up at your lock screen, that's basically it. And from there, the tweak should work. And right now, guys, I'm going to show you what that looks like on my Android device. So, yeah, guys, once you've finished doing all that and you've set it up, well, you, you can't really set up anything. Once you've done all that and you followed my instructions carefully, everything should be working well. And now, when you double tap here at the status bar at the top, it will just shut off. I don't even need to press the power button, which is right here. I can press it. I can still unlock my device here. And, you know, I can still go into any app I want. And I can just... I can go into any app. Like, I can open my browser here, for example. And, uh, I can basically just scroll down everything. Do all that stuff. Exit out of it. Still do all my stuff and everything still do you know, doing wherever I want I can be in any app and I can still just double tap the status bar and I'll just go to sleep and from there guys that's it that's how to get the double tap to sleep feature of sign in Jamon on your Android device now if you guys like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up because that will definitely help me out and if you have any suggestions on what I should do next or if you have any problems with this whatsoever, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got tons of more content coming your way. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Demiso45 signing off.